Hello. Good morning. It's our last day in Indonesia and today is dedicated to... One Piece. One Piece. Okay. <laughs> she planned it, so we're doing One Piece stuff today. Today yeah. is a very important adventure, everyone, so come along with us. Let's get going. Gomu, gomu. We got photos with Luffy. Yes, so worth it. I'm not even the biggest fan, but that massive Luffy has got me hyped up for the exhibition. Let's get going. Gamu Gamu. Are you excited? Yes, I'm ready for the one piece. <laughs> She's loving it, guys. Here we go. We approaching after a 40 minute wait. We are finally going through. Wow. Whoa. Welcome to the One Piece exhibition. Now it's just room after room of One Piece goodies. Let's check it out. Thank you. About to watch a little show. You are <laughs> yeah, she's getting it, guys. She part of the crew, man. <gasps> Damn. <Wow. laughs> That's crazy. Sorry, sorry, spoiler. <laughs> Shirahoshi! <laughs> there are a lot of rooms at this exhibition. I mean, it's been over 30 minutes and we're still in this one piece maze. Pretty damn good if you're a huge fan. <laughs> to regain our energy, we're at Yakiniku for some Japanese barbecue. Because Luffy loves Niku. Bay, what did you think of the One Piece exhibition, being it a One Piece amazing. fan? It was amazing. I freaking loved it. I loved it so much. It was so fun. We got to see all the different arcs of One Piece. Mm. And literally just going on a journey with them from the beginning to not the end yet, but to the current arc. I loved it so much. Did you recommend it? Yes. If you get the chance to visit. Yakiniku I like. I really like. Let's eat. So this is what I got. 200 grams of beef. Delena got that Peruubi. Let's go. This place is highly rated. Very popular as well. And let's see if it's worth it. This is my meat on the side. Yeah. Does the job. Yeah. Okay. We eat. Bye bye. Hey, this is KFC round two, and we just found out you can get a spicy version, and it's really good. And this is why we came back. Delena had one more left. We got it. Complete. Complete. All members complete. Done. shopping mall if you're a fan of anime or dogs it's got it all yeah i highly recommend 
the Mall of Indonesia. So much to do and so much to see. And so much to pet doggies. Just thought I'd mention that in Indonesia, you will not find a 7-Eleven. They only have Indomarket and Circle K. Those are the two popular ones. Yeah, because we wanted to make a 7-Eleven video, but couldn't find one. I'm going to do a shopping haul. First purchase of today, we were at the Mall of Indonesia and we got this pouch and guess what it's for? It's to put your dog in it! So chicken's gonna go in here like this. It's a little pouch. So shopping, da 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 da, chicky chicky, right next to me. It was really cool because I had a whole section for dogs. They even had prams for dogs. So that was really cool. Why have babies when you can have dogs? And the other thing I got from Mall of Indonesia. One Piece shirt. So I got this after the exhibition. So this is like my souvenir. And it says Nakama. And it has the whole entire crew. Look at that. So this is actually the back. The front is just plain. I'm gonna try it on. Perfect. And my last purchase for today is... Voila! This is really big though because they only had an XXL. Can you see everyone? This looks so funny, it's so cute. Baby, look! Baby, look! Huh? And that's my shopping haul. Okay, time to eat. Everyone, that's the end of our Indonesian series. This it's our final end. night here. We're leaving tomorrow morning and we're gonna end it off with one last meal and we tried to keep it as Indonesian as possible. <laughs> <laughs> Guess what I'm eating? People are not gonna be happy about this, but really craving myself a cup noodle. Yeah, sorry about that, but you know, we had to get some uh, takeaway. Yeah, it's really it's late. Really late we so. just wanna Eat at the hotel and yeah. chat to you all. Chat to you guys. Go over our trip, what we liked, what we didn't, yeah. and if we think you should visit. Look at this takeaway Yoshinoya. Looks it like comes a pizza in like box. a yeah, like a pizza box. Yeah. Bam! Ooh. Look at that. Rice. Some mayo thing. Ebi. Ebi. Some sauce Ebi. in a little packet. That's cute. It's really cool. I also got myself gyudon Ooh. with an onsen egg. Ready? Nice. Did I have some cutlery? Yes, of course. Some when we cutlery, travel, please. we're gonna have our cutlery sets. Travel to eat cutlery sets. I bought the one piece ones as well. There we go. Thank you very much. Thanks. I'm gonna have one bite first and then we'll talk. Oh, what? What happened? Oh, it's like a bowl within a bowl. You see that? <laughs> The rice is underneath. Ah. Mmm, mmm, mmm. I've been craving this after we had the sukiya. <laughs> I've been really wanting this. But Japanese food is really good here Cheers. though. And so cheap. So why not? Plus the line was so long for Yoshinoya. We waited mm. so long. Mmm. Delicious? Yeah. Ah. First off, Bali. Oh yes! Mm. We did go to Bali first. When I think of Bali, I think of amazing brunch, really good coffee, really good brunch. <laughs> Back at home in Australia, everyone thinks Bali is just the second Australia. So everyone kind of downplayed it for me. So I wasn't really, you know, super hyped for it. But when I actually went there, I thought it was great. I think I had a really good time this time around as well because mm. So I'll tell you guys my story now right. of why I did not have a good time in Bali and I didn't want to go back to Bali to be honest just because my previous visits have been pretty bad. So the first time I ever went to Bali was with my ex. It's better to not talk about trash so we'll just keep that aside because Damn. you know, second time I went with my two girlfriends, which was really nice. It was really fun. It was a nice girls trip. But the thing was, towards the end of the trip, a volcano erupted in yes. Bali. Yes, I remember that. And so I was so I was, scared for you. Yeah, and it was it was a really scary and stressful time. We were stuck there. We couldn't fly home. So we had to find a way home. People were like, oh, you had to stay an extra two to three weeks in Bali until oh you can get God. a flight home. Without knowing and how bad the volcano was yeah. going to be, right? And we were hearing that people were also dying oh um, my from God. the volcano and everything. The people that were living close to the volcano. So it was really scary for us. We had to drive 
I think 10 hours to the end of the island and from there we took a ship to Surabaya mm. and then from Surabaya we went to Jakarta from Jakarta that's when they had flights out mm. so then from Jakarta oh, yeah. we flew to Brunei and then from Brunei we flew back to Melbourne during this time of traveling the eight 10 hour car rides the boat rides and the ship rides just everything I had food poisoning Okay. Yes, I remember that. Yes. He had to use the toilet and he said it was yes. really gross. Like, it was just a really horrible time. So that's why I didn't want to go back to Bali. But And I've been pushing it off until now. Mm. But this time around, how was yes. it for you? This time, it has definitely changed. It made me forget about all the bad memories in Bali and I've actually really enjoyed this trip. And obviously going with you is just so much better. So, yeah. I guess I'm not trapped. I thought it was fun. I feel like I would like to come back so I can experience more bars, maybe the party yeah. lifestyle, because that would be completely I different with our friends. I definitely wanted to visit more restaurants. I wanted to try more fancy restaurants because I heard that Bali is known for their- Fine dining. Fine dining, because it's very affordable in Bali. But we didn't have the time we for We didn't it. have the time. We were only there for a few days. Yeah. The food was good. Really enjoyed it. Good monkeys. Delicious food. I wish I could try out a famous mm. Bobby Gulling. Didn't have enough of that this trip. Maybe next time. Yeah. Okay, and then we went to Jogja. Jogja Kata. Now. It was really funny, I have to say, because I kept calling it Yogya Kata, and everyone was like, what? Like, what is Yogya Kata? Because it's spelt Y O G. Mm. And I didn't know it was pronounced Jogja. Mm. So I kept saying Yog, Yogya. 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 <laughs> but it's Jogja Kata. But anyway, yes, Jog Jakarta. I forgot. <laughs> <laughs> so when we landed at the airport, we met a taxi driver and he asked us to go in his cab, but I wanted to get a grab. But he's like, listen, I'll match the price from grab. And I'm like, okay, if you can do that, I'll go with you. I was a little bit skeptical because every time I go to an Asian country, uh, Bangkok or Phuket, mm. The taxi drivers always try to scam us. And in Vietnam, South especially Korea, Vietnam. South Korea, Vietnam, they always try to Definitely scam us. Vietnam. So it was a bit reluctant, but I'm like, okay. When we go in, he was really kind. He told us about Bali, where to go, where to eat. Talked about karma. And then he said, watch out for Yogya. Jogja. <laughs> because if you leave your phone out there, someone might steal it. Watch your back. Please be safe. Protect your woman. <laughs> and I was a bit worried about it. But the thing is, when we got to Jogja Carter, it was pretty damn safe. It, it was, was nice. so safe. I, I never felt, yeah, threatened or anything. Yeah. If anything, Bali and Ubud was worse because of the monkeys stole my sound, stealing oh my people's God, sunnies, true. stealing yeah. phones. You lost your Those sound. are the criminals. The monkeys in Indonesia are the criminals. And I think they're a syndicate. I think someone's taming those monkeys to steal the sunnies, Who's to steal the now? phones, and they all collect it and bring it to and the, the mastermind. And the mastermind is not a human. No, 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 no. It is Cornelius from Planet of the Apes. It's a big monkey that's really smart. Anyway, okay. Uh, uh. Okay, I loved Jogja. I really, really enjoyed Jogja Kata. The food is not only so delicious there, it is so cheap. And everyone was lovely. I love the culture there, the art. I love the history. I loved Borobudur Temple. That was magnificent. Yeah. So I really enjoyed Georgia. I think two nights is perfect if you just want to stop by and just visit. It is city. known for its fine arts, paintings, yeah. poetry, drama. But watch out for the paint scam. All right, oh, the art scam. Watch out for the art scam. Right. If someone comes up to you, don't fall for it. Don't look at the art, because we did. We went into the art room, they gave us tea, and then we wanted to leave and they're like, you're not gonna buy something? Buy some art! And then I was like, oh, this is scammy. Anyway, I think Ubud is pretty good. I, I recommend going once. Why are you saying Ubud? We're talking about Jogja. <laughs> Seminyak Bali. Okay, yeah. Ubud, Jogja. Which one was your favorite out of those three? Probably Seminyak. Oh, really? Yeah, just because Ubud, it's nice, but there are a lot of bugs. So I don't really like that. I can't stay too long in Ubud. Mm. Coffee, oh my God. This is coffee cake. 
and, and it's good. Chokja is also nice, but I wouldn't stay long there. Yeah, and I yeah. wouldn't go back again. They I would only go once. They don't know that much English compared yeah, to the other yeah. areas. And Semenyak, yeah. it's just easy to get around, easy access to restaurants, brunch, cafes. Mm. So I'd go back to Semenyak. And then finally, we reached Jakarta. Mm -hmm. Now, I think Jakarta is my least favorite out of all of them. I mainly agree. because I agree with that. it's just so busy here, overpopulated, too many cars, traffic is insane. So, if you go on Google Maps and it says it's gonna take 30 minutes, times it by two because that's yeah. how long it will take due to traffic. Yes. Yeah. I have just never experienced traffic like that in my life. And just being in a car for so long, oh back and forth, just to get to one destination, another destination, it just takes up all of your time and you're just sitting in the car. So we're in the mall today, right? And then we wanted to go to the One Piece Cafe. And that took like an hour and a half already. Yeah. And then when we got there, it didn't work out, obviously. And then we had to That's take another 40 minute, 40 minute drive back to the hotel. So we're like always like traveling, it's so long, I feel like Every day in Jakarta, 50% of it is just in the car waiting, That's passing why out. If you're watching so, the Jakarta vlogs and you're like, you guys just did shopping malls and eat around. Well, that's all we had time for. I'm sorry. Yeah, you need more days here. And because there's so much traffic and cars, there's a lot of pollution. It's quite smoggy. Oh, yes. It's not sunny like Bali or Yogya, Jogja, Wogya. Yes. Georgia. The air is very polluted here, so smoky. So, Your skin was flaring up so yeah, much. Yeah, I got all these like red dots yeah. everywhere. Our skin was just not doing well. Because it's so smoggy, here. it's always gloomy. It's always mm. darker, yeah? It's never bright here. And one thing yeah. I've noticed about Indonesia is, especially Jakarta and Jogja, yeah. is that they don't really ever see foreigners that much. Oh, so they're yeah, always true. staring at me. Yeah. Yeah. I've been wearing shorts every day and they've been staring at my legs like I'm a alien or some sort of monster. And the grab drivers, they ask to take photos with us. Grab driver takes photos yeah. with us, yeah. A lot of white tourists always get stopped to take photos because they're like celebrities here. It's insane. This is a peanut mochi. Not bad. Every Caucasian person that we walked past they were surrounded by Indonesian people and they all wanted photos with them. It was mm. so funny. So, yeah. Of course, not in Bali, just in... Uh, yes, not in Bali, yeah. just in Jogja and Jakarta. Exactly. This is Puyo. It's a dessert that I've seen. It's like a silky mango. Look at it. It's like... Blum, 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 blum. Oh my God. Mm. So silky, so smooth. Look at that. It's like a custard. We mm. saw this everywhere. Yum. Yeah? Really good. Oh, that's so many flavors. <laughs> Another thing I noticed about Indonesia that I really like is that there are not a lot of stray animals here, like stray dogs. I barely oh, yeah. saw any Where stray are they? dogs in Indonesia, so I appreciate that the Indonesian people love their animals. Oh, yeah, they do. And yeah. they also don't eat pork, so Indonesia. Double win. Yes. Double win. Yes. It's a peanut mochi. Mmm, mm, so soft and squishy. Overall? Overall. Overall, overall. overall. Let's go overall. overall. Indonesia. Indonesia is amazing. It's great. It's I a love good Indonesia. country to yes. visit. If I could go back, I would come for the brunch and the shopping malls. What I won't miss is the traffic and being in cars. Person like me who has ADD, it's tough sitting in one spot for that long. Yeah. I thought I was gonna go insane sometimes. That's true. You were Most struggling Most of the times, really just traveling, dude. Yeah. Just in a car, but at least people in Indonesia drive safe for Asian level. What I love most about Indonesia, definitely the people and the food. Especially in Bali. The people in Bali are so helpful, so kind. I can't get over it. Like every time I say thank you to people in Bali, they'll be like, you're welcome. Like every time, everywhere I'm like, thank you so much. And like, you're welcome. You're welcome. You're welcome. It's just like so sweet. You're welcome. Uh, Won't miss the traffic indeed. I don't want to experience traffic like that. So grateful for Australia traffic now. I will yeah. never complain again. It's just because in Indonesia, like, Things are everywhere, you know? They're not like all compact. Like the city's not like this here, you know? They're the bing, 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 bing. Have a good night. Thanks for watching this series. Oh, we're ending it already. And next, <laughs> we are heading off to... Why? 
Are we telling everyone where we're going next year? Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> we did say we'll be coming back to this country very soon. So, we'll be going to... Malaysia! Malaysia next! Back to Malaysia for round two, a new experience. Yes. So we hope to see you there. Until next time, see you in Malaysia. Thank you so much for joining our Indonesia series, everyone. We hope you enjoyed the adventures, all the good food and experience. Thank you always for traveling with us and eating with us. We love you. On Have to Malaysia night. next. Bye bye. More adventures, more memories. Let's go, everyone. You have way too much energy. <laughs> Love you. Where did that come from? Take care, guys. Bye. Take care, guys. Bye-bye.